I spoke with Andrea Haley, the CEO of Vote.org, about the surge in voter registration and the potential impact on the upcoming election. Andrea Haley, thanks very much for joining us on this Labor Day. First of all, your organization, Vote.org, saw a surge in voter registration after July 21st. And of course, that was that Sunday when President Biden announced he was going to step aside. So my question to you is, who are these folks that are registering as a result of that, of the president stepping aside? What states do they live in, perhaps most importantly? Yes, I mean, we saw a 700 percent spike in registrations after President Biden stepped down. Um, we particularly saw spikes among young people. Most of the registrations were 18 to 34, which for voters is considered a younger cohort. And we particularly this year are seeing spikes in the registration of 18-year-olds, which is very, very interesting. Um, some of the states that were affected were Pennsylvania, Ohio, um, Michigan, Wisconsin. So this is going. This is about to make everything um, very, very interesting. Okay. By the end. Mm -hmm. okay, so I, I'm sorry. You said Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Obviously, those perhaps are the biggest swing states, the most important swing states. And you said they're very younger. It skews very much younger. So that would lead us to believe that this is good news for Democrats, right? Well, it'll be interesting to see. We can't tell, you know, yet how someone is going to vote, but definitely a younger cohort is um, that may not have otherwise shown up as Steph has decided that they're going to vote and participate this year. We're also seeing spikes among women who want to, young women who want to participate in the election. So I would say that the energy is now very high. By the end of the week, we hit over 142,000 registrations across the nation. Oh, okay, so that brings me to my next question. So I was at both conventions, right? I was in Milwaukee for the Republicans. I was in Chicago for the Democrats. There was high energy in Milwaukee for Republicans. It was through the roof for Democrats, I think for obvious reasons, because they had a brand new candidate and there was a lot of enthusiasm. That's borne out in the polls. So what are you seeing now in terms of voter registration uptick after each respective convention? Can you, can, can, can you compare the two? Yeah, it's been interesting. We haven't actually seen for either convention upticks that we can specifically correlate to the convention itself. Overall, we're seeing higher engagement in the election. It's like people are starting to really clue in. People are starting to get excited. You could tell that they're following along and that they'll be likely to take actions. We have an 81 percent conversion rate at Vote.org, so highly likely that the people we're seeing register are going to show up and vote this November. Um, but neither, even though both conventions were fantastic as far as correlating them to registrations, we didn't see significant shifts. OK, Andrea, and very quickly, I want to ask you about a, a very hot button issue, and that's voter ID laws. There have been 12 states by our count that have passed tougher laws since the last presidential election. Uh, voters have to show some sort of ID. Is that a form of voter suppression or is it just common sense? I think it really, you know, it can depend. Some states pass laws, for instance, where you can no longer use your student ID to count as voter ID, but you could use a hunting license. So you'd think that that is probably a type of ID that is looking to target that younger generation and make sure that they don't show up to vote. So I think it really, the devil is always in the details. It really depends yeah. on how these laws are written. All right. Andrea Haley, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be watching very closely over the next two months. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.